Hello everybody, welcome back to Wilson Club Gaming. I'm Trent. I'm Captain Pirate Man. I'm Jimmy. And uh, we're continuing on in Super Mario 64, played by Jim, who's just punching the air. He's mad at the audience. <laughs> you know, John, you can just introduce yourself as John. I would rather do Captain Pirate Man. Okay. Because I've been doing that. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's just like, yeah, it's so long of a name. It's more than one syllable. My name just sounds cooler than the rest of yours. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess it does sound cooler than regular Trent. I will admit that. Or just Trout. Trout, yeah. We're not bringing that here. Let's let's, let's <laughs> totally bring it here. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, in your in Trent's comments, just call him Trout from now on. <laughs> Great. This is sounding just fishy the, just already. The, just the fish emoji. <laughs> yep, just spam just any episode that regular Trent makes. With fish emojis. Watch, watch um, us actually blow up from the gaming channel, and everyone's just like, fish. Yeah, that's like all my fish. Fish on the name yeah. from the community. That's all you're going to be known for is just oh, no. fish. <laughs> Whoa. Easy there, Jim. I'm like, I'm like just really, oh, there it is. I gotta get that. Probably won't get all the red coins, but I'm just going to grab it because it's shiny. I'm going to touch it. Shiny. Oh, oh, I thought those that was the right there. <laughs> I am really, uh,. Living like Larry right now, I will say. Living like Larry. <laughs> These snowmen are annoying. Because, like, you can't even hurt them, and you gotta, like, time their jumps so you can walk under them. I played a Mario game in my day. They ain't crap. <laughs> they ain't crap. Luckily, in this game, uh, in this level, you can't get hurt from falling damage, because Mario just plops in the snow. Oh, yeah. That's also the same for the the yeah. desert level. Tricky Ruins. Oh, okay. was... Tricky Ruins, I believe? Uh, I think that was... No, Tricky Ruins, I think, is the name of um, a sub-area in uh, Noki Bay from Mario Sunshine. So I got that mixed up. So what mission, what mission are you going for right now? Red coins? I guess. I guess I will get all... Watch out for those ice physics. Just slide up. If you run up to the edge of that bridge without falling off at the very end here, I think it'll teleport you to somewhere else on the level. Let me see. Yeah, be careful. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Secret warp. It pays. It pays to play games, you know. Yeah, that's some Nintendo logic right there. It's just like, oh yeah, end of bridge. Let's just make it teleport. It's like in Why? real life. Just... Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. That's no, alright. <laughs> it's like in real life. Whenever I see a discolored part portion of wall, I'm like, there's a seat. There's a bonus level behind that. It's got to be. You know what you gotta do with the baby penguin. Sacrifice. 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 We're all terrible people. <laughs> oh, it's crying to its mom. I can't. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Can I teleport? Probably not. I think you could. Yeah, I think, I think it works both ways. No, Do I it. can't. No. Alright, I think, though, I think she's at the bottom of the mountain. So I think. If you just jump off, you'll be fine, because, like. Snow. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And luckily, she's not dumb enough to walk up the edge. Well, oh no, well, uh, <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> you put her in an awkward spot. Well, I guess we could go for red coins then. <laughs> yeah. Imagine this happening in real life. Your butt would just. Oh, I eh, wouldn't hurt that bad. It's winter here in Indiana. It's probably colder in the real life than it is in this level. This is basically just Indiana. Yeah. yeah. Except for the endless pits. <laughs> well, I don't know. The roads kind of yeah, feel like I would that. Say, yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. Nah, if, if this was Indiana, half of it would be hot too. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Indiana. You don't like it? Blink. The weather will change. <laughs> it's pretty have, basically. Yeah. You have all four seasons in one day. Yeah. Hold my beer. <laughs> That happened one time. What? That happened one time where it's like, I forgot where I was, but it went from like 90 degrees outside to snowing in the same day. I there's something similar like that that happened because um, Easter 2020, mm -hmm. um, it was like super nice and warm. Yeah. And uh, the next day it was all snow. Oh, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, but um, then it immediately snowed the next day. I remember being bewildered by that because um, I had woken up for work because I was working at a grocery store at the time, and I was working the evening shift. I'd gotten up to go to work, and my dad's like, "Be careful driving to be careful driving. It's gonna be 
terrible on the roads. I'm like, what are you talking about? It was like uh, 70 degrees yesterday. And I look out, and all of a sudden, it's just snow everywhere. Yeah. I'm like, what in the world? Yeah, I'm not even talking about, like, it was hot one day, snowing another day. I'm talking about, like, same day it was hot and then snowing. All on the same day. It's... All on the same day. I think it went from hot to rain, then to snow. Dang. Yeah. I forgot where I was, though. You got the holy trifecta right there. Yeah. Because then the rain slowly started turning into snow. I was like... Stop. I wish to rule you. I'm just getting buried, buried with snow. Yeah. Shoot to the island in the sky. Well, we know this cannon will reach the island in the sky. Because you, you tested that. Yep. We uh, myth busted that one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> myth busted. <laughs> I missed that show. I do, too. Yeah. It was a good show. I remember um, Grant, Grant, who was part of the B team, passed away, and I was sad about that. I'm like, oh. Grant, he wasn't on the... He didn't get the interesting cases like uh, Adam and Jamie. Yeah. I think that was their names, right? Yeah. Yeah, Adam and Jamie. He didn't get a lot of the interesting things, because he was on the B team, uh, but um, he's still like one of, the, one of my favorite characters. I forget but, which one it is. Uh, but one of them is like really into like cosplay and prop making now, and I see their his videos come up on my uh, recommended feed every once in a while. Hmm. He does like uh, Ghostbusters cosplay, Ooh. so he has like the whole ghost traps and proton packs. He has everything. I can afford it with my career in Hollywood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go ahead and try, but uh, the crippling debt might make you want to stop. I mean, they're not terrible. I mean, I wouldn't pay for it, but like. A Hasbro. Well, oh, wow. Oh. So, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I think um, you need the wing cap to do the rings, but I think there's like a yellow block that has the star in it. Like that one? Uh, oh, there it is. Ba -ding, ba -ding, ba -ding. Yeah, the Hasbro Proton Pack. They're going to be releasing it not too soon. And I forget what it is, but it lights up, does like the noises and everything. Um, I think this will be like 300 bucks. That's, that's Which is expensive, but not for something like that. Like, if you think about it, it's a movie prop that's movie accurate, lights up, makes noises, is painted realistic, and doesn't look like cheap plastic. So I would say 300 is a right price for it. Why can't you just defend it, Hasbro, right there? <laughs> we're not sponsored or affiliated by Hasbro, by the way. It's, yeah. I wish we were. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying, because, like, a lot of people like to complain about the prices, but then you gotta, like, take it, all that into account as, like, somebody who uh, prop builds props myself, people don't really realize how much work goes into all that. And sure, they're mass-producing it, but, I mean, still. It's like, with 3D printers... Everyone thinks, well, you're just pushing a button and then that's it. Which, yeah, essentially, but that's not what we're charging for. We're charging for all the stuff afterwards where you're doing the sanding, doing the paint job, all of that stuff. Because that all takes a long time. What are you doing in this level, by the way? I was like, I had to get a wing cap, but I don't think I had it yet, so... We have to... What? How many stars did it take to unlock the, the, sh the, the wing cap level? Because, like, the, line, the lights has to shine down and, like, the... I can't remember. I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of watch the speedruns. I don't really know what too much of what's going on. I just kind of... You just... Like, they're, they're doing that. Yeah. Speedruns of this uh, game are a work of art. A speedrun of any game, really. Mm -hmm. I always wanted a speedrun a game. I just don't know what game to, to do it with. I felt like I did a speedrun recently. I played, um... My, I, I told you guys, but I played uh, Miles Morales for the first time. Yeah. yeah. I played the PS4 version, so it looked a little janky, because it was, like, definitely made for PS5. But, like, I I got that for Christmas, and I first started playing it Tuesday night. I beat it Wednesday morning. I'm wow. Like, and, like, maybe, maybe it was because I just tried to get through the story before I did a lot of the bonuses, because I know how carried away I got in Spider-Man PS4. But I could have sworn it felt like the campaign in... Uh, the first Spider-Man game is longer than Miles Morales, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Like, it just felt shorter. Um, a bit of a disappointment, though. Yeah, I kind of did the same thing with Portal 2. Like, yeah, Portal 2? Yeah, I completed that one real quickly. 
Good game. Good game. Yeah. I seen a Geico ad on TikTok today that was based around Portal 2. It was like GLaDOS ta talking to the Geico lizard. <laughs> Could 15 minutes save me 15% on trap insurance? It's basically, I was like, what? What? You found my precious... Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not voicing characters. What am I doing? It's just out of habit, I guess. Yeah. Now sacrifice it. <laughs> no, you could sacrifice the one on top of the cabin. No. That, that one doesn't have a family. I don't care. Yeah. Sacrifice the I like how there are I'm two... doing them a favor. Yeah, I like how they do... <laughs> I like how there are two baby penguins. And it's like, um... She'll even, even though they both look the same, she'll be like, "Oh, this one's not, this one's not my baby." Can't I don't you like tell? That one. <laughs> yeah, this one, no. She's like, "I'm not dying today. <laughs> you are my new mother." <laughs> no, please. Make sure I don't fall off here. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. No. You gotta get your toes right on the ledge. I think it's like it won't let you be inhumane. Not oh, never. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you can do that. <laughs> Rated M, dude. <laughs> Peter's gonna be knocking down the store any minute now. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, it's so funny. I like how we all got kicked out of that. It's great. We are. Uh... How do you feel now that you know you sent a baby penguin <laughs> into eternal falling forever? Ever? I'll probably, I'll probably just be thinking about it at night, just like I just. I just did that. Yeah, I'll wake up in a cold sweat. <laughs> what have I done? A fate worse than death. Truly. An internal falling. <laughs> Into an eternal void. No, 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 you got it wrong. It's falling with style. He's, True, yeah. He's trying to fly. He's a penguin, trying to prove. And there's this guy. Hey! I don't know what I'm... It's like, guy, guy. guy. Yeah. I know speed when I see it. Yes, yeah. sir. About a race? Yes. Yeah. You want to race? You want to race me later when I get fat and you can't get around me? <laughs> that happens. He's like, this dude's an absolute roadhog, too. You really have to get ahead of him. And you can't cut any of the track, because then he'll call you out for cheating. Like Koopa the Quick. You must be best friends. I'll oh, yeah, out. he's going fast. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Put that on the wiki. Yep. Or it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. Oh, he's zooming. He is zooming. Look at him go! <laughs> go get him, Slugger. He's determined. <laughs> stand inside. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. You gotta stand inside. <laughs> go, 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 go. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Get him, Ricky Bobby. Oh, I got him. All right. That was actually easier than I thought it'd be, but you got stressful. Like, you got a lot of coins too. Forty-nine more, you get the the one hundred coin shine. Or star, I guess. Those missions are always annoying, though. Like, instead of giving you a 1-up, they'll give you a star for 100 coins. And the moment you collect the 100th coin, they'll put it in, like, a weird spot. Yeah. So it's like, if you're in Hazy Maze Cave and you're climbing somewhere, and you get the 100th coin, they'll put it in an awkward spot, and you're like, Ugh, I gotta get that now. Do -do -do -do. Let's see what another one is. Go go again, boys. One more time. Eight red coins. Okay. The revenge. Let's go. Oh, revenge. <laughs> Hopefully this time you won't um, fall off the level. The revenge. It's the pe uh, no baby penguin. Comes yeah. Back. <laughs> the baby penguin's like, Ch -ch -ch, not today. <laughs> comes, comes back with like a bandana, <laughs> just scars <laughs> over its eye. Yeah. It's like, I haven't forgotten about you, Mario. <laughs> I've seen some stuff. <laughs> I've seen things, and when I tell you, I've seen things. Things you can never imagine to be real. I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> oh, oh, there I go. <laughs> I do not want to be here. I don't know why I just remembered that, but like, you remember that one movie called Surf's Up? The, the yeah? Yeah. The Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. <laughs> LaBeouf? Yeah. I don't know, I just remembered because I was like, <laughs> the mom was calling the penguin in. He's like, hurry up and get inside. Your food's going to get hot. <laughs> just like, because <laughs> oh. you're living in the Antarctic. Yeah. That movie, surprisingly, that was a that was a surprisingly funny movie. Yeah. Very underrated. The thing me and my sister would always like quote on a daily basis was the little seer. Again, Jim. <laughs> I slipped. I slipped. It's twice. 
But yeah, the thing me and my sister would quote on a daily basis was the little sea urchin from that. Yeah. Who's like, stepped on me. Stepped on me. You kidding? This guy was dancing on me. Look at this. Broken, broken, <laughs> gone, gone, broken. <laughs> Uh, quote that on a daily basis. Do, oh. Again? Oh, wait, <laughs> dude, three times. Three times. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. <laughs> I'm actually just throwing right now. Man. All right. I got to be very surgical with this. Very Sur precise. <laughs> this, is, this, is your new, this is your new enemy right here. Forget the baby penguin. This is my punishment for that. Yeah. Okay, at least there's ground. That's fine. <laughs> they just glitched and like no <laughs> clipped them through. Too. Yeah, it was like wait. You could just skip that and just backflip up there. I didn't see that until just now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we'll spare you. We'll spare that thing a fourth time. Unlike he spared the penguin. Did not spare the penguin? I mean, dang, call him out. You're the one that encouraged it. He didn't have to do it. <laughs> that was his own actions, not mine. Well, I like how you had your gymnastics friend. Yeah, we're an accomplice to your crime. That was real mental gymnastics you had to take there. It's like, it's like that scene where it's like, Mr. Krabs, you're the one who told me to poison the Krabby Patty. Well, you're the you didn't tell me not to do it. You're right. They're gonna take me to prison. They'll mop the floor with me. Have you seen the theories that the secret ingredient to the Krabby Patty formula is crab? I did. Oh no! And like what? I mean, <laughs> the real life equivalent of a Krabby Patty is a crab cake. Yeah. So wouldn't surprise me, especially considering like we don't really get to see a lot of crabs in Bikini Bottom. Yeah. Well, they even bites into a Krabby Patty in one of the episodes, and he's like, "So that's how it tastes." Well, it was an analogy, you know, because he's like, he's old and washed up, and someone called that Krabby Patty old and washed up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, I believe, Jim, if you start to ground pound right when they are about to hit you, you'll face through them. Okay, uh, not like that. <laughs> not like that. I'll try again. All right. Now. Okay. Um, you might have to do it early. But uh, let's not do that because you're about to die. <laughs> I've died enough in this level already. <laughs> not even from like an enemy. I did that. You just slid off. Mm -hmm. oh. He actually killed me. Wow. Really? Well, to, be, to be fair though, I was trying to do the speedrun strat, so... Speedrun. Speedrun. Because they do that in the speedrun, they just like phase through him. Yeah. Take some skill. I'm a far cry from that that uh that amount of skill in this game. So <laughs> fifth try I'm trying to beat level one of uh Wasp Fortress. I do remember this level in Mario Galaxy 2. It's like really big. Yeah, they remade I yeah, they remade it for um the throwback galaxy, I believe it was called. I like how the music just gets quiet right here. It's because the when you get next to a sleeping piranha, it'll start playing like a lullaby. Oh. Oh yeah. Yahoo! Whoop. <laughs> Momentum. What's that? Man, Jim, okay. this, this level is your arch nemesis, man. I know. It's the penguin. Yeah. Tormenting him. Haunting you from the grave. never get to have a family because of you, Jim. <laughs> it was dark, I apologize. <laughs> <A little>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you didn't have one to begin with. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You're not wrong. Welcome to the gaming channel. We're not afraid to get dark. <laughs> yeah. Playing such a happy game like Super Mario 64 and we're talking about death. <laughs> happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Destruction. All right, here we go. Sacrifice. This time, no mistakes. <laughs> and speaking of that, who? <laughs> <laughs> um, you might want to. Oh, oh. <laughs> too late. I thought I could style on him and just wait. Style on him? Yeah. <laughs> you start break it. You start doing the break dance. Oh, kick on top. No. He's down. He's like. All right, one more. Well, he's angry, he's walking fast. Don't make me walk fast at you. Yeah, going back to that topic earlier about how far games have come, which is amazing. Like, 
things like the band-aid and the crack is textured on him. Yeah, instead of being individually modded. It's, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of like weird designs for this game that like would improve over time. Like the like the thwomp, the big block guy that lands on you. Yeah. He's like blue and everything and you know, everything just looks different. I don't know if you have you seen what Bowser looks like in this game yet? Yeah, I have. He yeah. looks very very pudgy. Very he almost looks like just a large Koopa. Yes. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. He is King Koopa. Yeah. We'll do, we'll, we'll do one more time. We'll call, the, we'll call this one an episode. Right. I'll try not to die this time. It's okay. It's, di dying is part of the adventure, you know? Along with life, there is death. Yep. They live in equilibrium, you know? And then you get it's a white up and do it all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being Mario. It's like, he reaches, like, he lives a perfect life. Lives to 70. Dies. And then he's, he wakes up and all of a sudden he's like 25 years old again. And he's like about to play Super Mario Brothers. like, what happened? <laughs> has to do all of it all over again until yes. he runs out of one hopes. It's like Marty McFly from Back to the Future. He go he changes the timeline, goes back, and now he has to live through a life that he's had no memory of. <laughs> because he just changed the timeline. Yeah. It could be even worse. You could be like Tails from Sonic Two where he uh he's uh, invincible practically. Mm -hmm. And like you could just break the game because Tails can't die, truly. Yeah. Because he has no lives. And Tails is like, why can't I die? I've outlived everybody I've ever loved. Hmm. Oh. Well, there goes your red. Well, I mean, I'm excited to see that new Sonic movie. That one looks... I still haven't seen the first Sonic movie, so I need to get Same. on that. It was pretty good. Yeah, I heard it was, like, surprisingly decent. Yeah, it was decent. It's one of those movies you would watch it once and then be like, okay, this was good, and probably never watch it again. Yeah. But, Sounds you know. Sounds right. They got, they got Idris Elba as Knuckles, which is, like, that's pretty big. Yeah. A lot of people were, like, for, like, those fan casts, a lot of people were, uh, casting, uh, The Rock as Knuckles. <laughs> I would, that would've been cool. But now The Rock's playing Crypto the Superdog. Yeah. Not to be confused with Cryptocurrency. Mm. And NFTs. NFT. I still don't fully understand what those are. It's, like, a, a unique image that, like, you can buy and sell. I don't know, it... They're kind of... They're starting to get on the verge of disrespectful because they made a... They were celebrating, like, Stanley's birthday or, like, the anniversary of his passing by saying, we're making NFTs of Stanley's first ever Indian-born superhero. And I'm like, don't do that. Mm -hmm. They reactivated his Twitter and Instagram just to promote that. I'm like, don't do that. They, they were making Etika NFTs. I'm like, guys... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's too far. Here we go, the wing cap. We might get that next time on Super Mario 64, but until then, I've been Trent. I've been Captain Pirate Man. I've been Jimmy. And we'll see you all next time.